Hello guys, this is your friend Alex and today I'm gonna show you how to move from Android to iOS and uh, most people will like to do this because they are tired of not getting the latest um, updates to the operating system or maybe they are tired of the apps displaying differently than on iOS everybody knows that the apps they look better in iOS so whatever is your reason to move from Android to iOS let's start it doing it so the first thing you need to do guys is you need to download an app on your Android device in order to go to the Play Store you need to be logging to your Gmail account or your Google account alright so once you are on the Play Store you're gonna go to the search and you're gonna search for move to iOS and you can see here that it's already here the first result is the app we're looking for move to iOS so you click on it and you're gonna install it it's gonna ask you for permissions you're gonna accept them and the app is installing right away so you're gonna open it and it says here move to iOS use this app to copy messages photos and more from this Android phone to a new iPhone or iPad continue through some conditions and then it says find your code if you don't see a code on your iPhone make sure you are in the iPhone setup and have selected move data from Android this is important guys a lot of people ask me where is uh, move data from Android the only way you're gonna find move data from Android is if you reset your phone so let's do that guys in order to reset the phone we're gonna go to settings and we're gonna go to general and from general scroll down and look for reset okay what options are you gonna choose from here you're gonna choose erase all content and settings and look at this documents and data are being uploaded to iCloud if you erase now you will lose documents and data that are being uploaded to iCloud I will say erase now erase iPhone they asked me again erase iPhone erase iPhone verification failed there was an error connecting to the Apple ID server let's try it again right erase all content and settings erase now erase iPhone and still verification failed the reason this is happening is because we don't have a SIM card and we don't have internet access we need internet access for the phone to communicate to the servers and we need to log out from iCloud before doing any reset alright guys so in order to log out of iCloud the first thing we need to do is we need to have internet access either with your SIM card or if we connect to the Wi-Fi so we're gonna connect to the Wi-Fi first and this is my Wi-Fi it's already connected and now we're gonna go back to settings from settings we're gonna look to general from general we're gonna look to reset and you're gonna choose erase all content and settings and it's saying that something is uploading to iCloud I really don't care about this so I'm just gonna click erase now erase iPhone erase iPhone and look at this guys it doesn't allow me to erase the phone until I log out of iCloud it said enter the Apple ID password for this email to erase this iPhone and remove it from your account so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our password and uh, we're gonna erase it alright okay so we put a passcode we're gonna erase it let's see if it works yes the passcode that I enter is correct that's why the phone is being erased we're gonna start as we have the iPhone as new so these are the steps that you need to do guys because that's the only way that we can show the apps and settings right remember this phone is asking us we need to find this move data from Android I'm resetting the iPhone so it's gonna behave as a new iPhone and that's what I want to show you guys alright guys so it looks like we are close to finish the iPhone is restarting it's deleting everything guys it's gonna start as a new iPhone another thing guys most people will have a lot of pictures lots of videos lots of contacts in this tutorial I just have a couple of contacts and a couple of videos and pictures just to show you that it works another thing guys I'm gonna do this move without logging into an iCloud account the advantage of doing it logging into an iCloud account is that you might get the apps you know let's say you install different apps here 
iOS is gonna recognize those apps and it's gonna download it from you. But the bad thing is that it's not gonna keep all the, or let's say conversations or your pictures, whatever you have on your apps, they're not gonna move. They're just gonna install the same apps that you have on the Android device. Looks like the iPhone is ready. Okay, so let's go to, let's go and see this. Uh, let's try to find this screen, right? Move data from Android. So let's configure this iPhone really quick. I, English, United States, quick start, never, set up manually. Uh, we're gonna select our Wi-Fi. We're gonna log in here. And looks like we are in. Once we have connection, this phone can communicate to the servers and make sure everything is okay. It says it may take a few minutes and it says here data and privacy. If you want, you can read about this. I'm just gonna click continue and touch ID. I will set up later. Don't use. Passcode. I will set don't use passcode. Don't use passcode. And here it is, guys. This is the screen that we were looking for. This is the apps and data screen. It only gonna appear if you are setting up your new iPhone or if you reset your iPhone as we did. So from here, you're gonna select move data from Android. Okay, it's gonna click continue. And this is what we're looking for guys. Move from Android, 769-923. Okay, and that's the, uh, the code that we need from here. Say next. And this is the code. So let's enter the code. 769923. That's the code. And look at it's happening, guys. It's connecting to the iPhone. So it's connecting to the iPhone. I really don't know how it's connecting to the iPhone. It might be Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. If you guys know, please let me know in the comments. But the thing is that it's connecting. Let's keep the iPhone here. And look at this, guys. It's asking for transfer data. Choose what you would like to copy from your iPhone. And we select everything, pretty much. And we click Next. And again, it's Google account. So that's going to be your contacts on your Google account. Contacts in camera roll. Next. Now it's going to transfer all the stuff. It said, do not switch to other apps or turn off this device until the transfer is complete. So what's happening now, guys, is... The files that we have on the Android are going to the iOS. And actually you can see guys here that is transferring and you can actually see the name of the file that has been transferred. I only have a couple of videos and a couple of pictures. So that's the only thing that is gonna move. Also the contacts. But if you have more stuff, it's supposed to move everything. So we're gonna wait here guys. And uh, I'm gonna keep it open for you guys to know how long it takes he said four percent but sometimes it goes faster so i'm just gonna keep it there you see look it's going really fast now 28 percent 27 you can see also here it's already look it said transfer complete but we're still seeing um some activity here moving items into place look at that guys it's a transfer complete your data has been copied to your new iPhone or iPad. Some items were not copied, such as purchase app or media, or media that is safe within apps. As I was telling you guys, let's say you're moving uh, WhatsApp. So of course, your data from WhatsApp is not gonna move to the iOS unless you have a backup copy inside your WhatsApp uh, app, and that way I think you can bring it back. And look at that, guys. So the first transfer complete, we have it at the Android. Then the iPhone is going to tell us that it's complete. So we don't need this anymore, right? Done. Find your code. I mean, we are done with this. Now let's work on this. So transfer is complete, right? Continue setting up iPhone. And here it is, guys. It's going to ask us for an Apple ID account. In this case, I don't want to use it. Just to show you that you can still transfer from Android to iOS without logging in to the, your Apple ID. And we're gonna click on this, forgot password. And from here, we're gonna set, set up later in settings. Use Apple ID, don't use Apple ID. Terms and condition, of course we agree. Never select express settings, always use customized settings. From here, they're gonna ask you keep your iPhone up to date. I'm gonna say install updates manually. 
Message, iMessage and FaceTime, not now. Location services, disable location services. Siri, set up later. Screen time, set up later. Analytics, don't share. Display, I always pick the zoom version so I can see all the icons bigger. Get started. And that's it, guys. Oh, look at that. It's a quick reset of the phone. Let's see what happened. Yeah, that's it. Okay, look at this. Enter the Google password for JBC Interactive at gmail.com in settings. Okay, so what it's asking me, guys, is to enter the password of my Google account. And why is asking me that? Because that's how I'm going to get the contacts. Whatever contacts I have on my Google account, they're going to be transferred here through my Gmail account. All right. So click on settings. Add your Android device apps from the App Store. This is what I was telling you guys. There's a chance that you can see all the apps that you used to have on your Android. You can see them here and download them. So this is asking you if you want to do that. But I think in order to do that, you have to log into your iCloud account. Let's say if, you, if I want to do it, add apps. So you say, look, and this is it. Immediately, when I select add apps, it's gonna ask me to sign in to my Apple ID account. That's why I didn't select it. So I'm just gonna cancel this. You can do it if you want. They keep asking me. All right. And then next. Yeah, you see, they keep asking me. They keep asking me because I selected that I wanted to do it. Okay, finally stop. So I'm gonna put my password here to access my account. And once I have my account on Gmail set up, once I have my, my account set up from there, you can go to camera and you can see here the video I created. This is the video I have on the Android. This is another video I have. This is the picture I took. And this is uh, some pictures from my contacts. And actually, if you go here to, where's contacts, guys? Contacts. And then you can see here uh, the different contacts that I have. I have Condon and Condon Jr. Some of them has a picture. Condon Jr. doesn't have it. But Condon, it has a picture. Or I have, for example, William Barr. Here's the picture. So the point I'm trying to make, guys, is that all your contacts on your Gmail account will move to iPhone, including the pictures. How about text? I don't have any text. Some people say that you can move text. I don't know, because this phone doesn't have a SIM card. So maybe that's the reason. We were able to move pictures, video, contacts. Okay, the reason the phone asks you to log into your Apple ID is because you cannot download apps if you are not logging to your Apple ID. Something else I want to show you. I'm running 12.3, which came out, I think, uh, May 13 or 14. Okay, so it's recently. This is the latest iOS version, 12.3. And look at this, guys. If I want to see my, if I want to sign into the Apple ID, I click on it. And they're going to ask me to log in, right? Now, what happened if I disconnect from the network? What happened if I disconnect from the network? Let's say I don't have internet access, right? What happened if I want to go to my Apple ID? I'm going to click and look at this. Connect to the internet to sign in to your iPhone. So I wanted to show you that, guys, because from the new versions since 12.2, you cannot see your iCloud information if you're not connected to the internet that means that apple now requires the phone to connect to their servers in order to see any data related to your apple id and that's it guys this concludes the tutorial moving from android to iphone and please let me know in the comments if you ever try moving from android to iphone and why why are you leaving android and going to ios or vice versa now i'm going to do a tutorial vice versa how to move from ios to android Please let me know in the comments if you have any questions. I'm doing this tutorial because I did another tutorial that had the title could not communicate or something like that. 
and a lot of people got really mad i got a lot of dislikes this is my way to say all right i was able to do it that's it guys thank you so much for watching my videos don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to support my channel if you want me to keep uploading videos please don't forget to subscribe to my channel it's really important and i'll see you in the next one guys please don't forget to comment and thank you bye